Hello, this is Music Man from His Man Cave. So we continue on in saving and investing. And I will tell you, <laughs> this is tough stuff. This is hard. But anything that's worth anything is hard. So let's continue on to talk about how do you start saving? How do you start investing? Coming right at you right now. His man cave, and the first thing that we talked about uh, was that you got to break out of the mold and you got to see the world for what it really is a bunch of material junk, a bunch of dirt. So, uh, what you do is more important than what you have, and uh, that's just a fact. Uh, who you are is more important than what you have. So, the second thing that you got to battle against, and this is a tough one, you got to battle against yourself. See, in every man, there's two dogs fighting. One dog is the carnal, the material, the one that is attracted. You know, you ever even been in a restaurant and the, the TV will draw you in even though you don't even watch TV or not even inter interested. And then there's the spiritual dog the, the, that makes you th see the world for what it really is. And uh, which dog uh, is going to win this battle? Well... Whichever one you feed the most. That's why it's important to be in the scripture. So you're going to have to battle yourself. The second thing you have to battle is your own flesh. We're more than a, uh, you're going to have to battle your own hardware. Our hardware makes us want to do some goofy stuff. Our hardware makes us want to go out and buy a new boat. Our hardware makes us want to go out and... Uh, and uh, buy an RV that we can't afford. Our, our hardware wants us to sell a house we have bought and paid for and take out a new mortgage and be paying on it until we're 75. Uh, basically, what I would say is that uh, there's some viruses floating around in there. Okay? And, uh, and your antivirus, uh, I'd say it's the Holy Spirit or God's Word. There's your antivirus right there. And it will remind you. But, there... It, People come around and they put a bug in your ear. Your car isn't good enough. What they're really saying is, I'm better than you. Let them. You're weird. I'm better than you. Um, I got more than you. So what? You know, and that's just where you have to get. You have to get to that point where you're basically saying, so what? So you have more than me. You have a bigger house. You have a shinier car. You know, whatever. Your dog is prettier than mine. Whatever. Um, so you have to continually battle. And you have to feed the right dog, the spiritual dog. The dog that sees the world for what it really is. And what is the world? Materialistic. Consumerism. There's a spirit of uh, materialism and consumerism. you got to have a cell phone. you got to have a TV. you got to have a new car. Even if you have to lease it. you got to have a four-bedroom house with two baths, with uh, a balcony, and... Uh, by the beach. I mean, on and on and on. I mean, you can you can just drive yourself crazy. Instead of, I just need a modest home in a modest neighborhood. Um, I'm perfectly fine adopting a dog uh, from the Humane Society. Um, I am perfectly happy with buying a, a good used car. And, uh, and, and this is the kind of stuff that you have to feed yourself. Because people will come around and they'll give you a hard time. I'm telling you. And then the, you have to adjust your spirit. You have to adjust your center. You have to adjust your focus again. Part of this is that we have those moments of, of weakness where we just want, we think we're getting gypped. And it comes like a wave. You feel good that you're saving. You feel good that you're investing. You feel good that you're going the right direction. And then someone will come along and say something and you feel like, maybe I'm being stupid. You know, don't believe it. The best way to live is to live a simple life. You don't want your possessions to own you. You want to own your possessions. Um, there's a lot of options, and you can ask me what those options are. There's a lot of options besides going out and buying expensive RVs, or buying boats, or buying more house than you need. Uh, there are options, um, and, and I, I can talk to you about those things. There's some options that I definitely will do. Um, the bottom line is you got to control the carnal man. You got to control your flesh. 
you got to control it and you've got to you can't let yourself the, the hardware determine your financial goals you've got to you got to stay centered and you've got to stay focused and it is so hard i will tell you it is very difficult sometimes you see something come along and what a deal and uh you have to step back and you have to think now wait a minute oh man i am falling again i am really falling into temptation um, so anyway, we'll continue on. There's one more thing that you have to fight. I'll talk to you about it in just a moment. Music Man. Talk to you in a moment. Bye.